This man has a beautiful woman in his arms, but no matter how hard the girl teases, Ken's lower body doesn't respond. 17 or 18, that's the age of hormones. All the students around him are already in the mood, but Han doesn't react. That night, Han realized he might be gay. In music class, the priest remembered his first love. The priest said that love is when you look at him and he looks at you. Han couldn't help looking at Bertie, but he found Bertie's deep gaze on him. They both smiled. The bud of love was quietly sown in their hearts. One day, they were involved in a school bullying incident. A skinny boy was beaten up by a group of big boys. The reason for the bullying was simple. The boy had openly admitted he was homosexual. In Taipei, at the end of the last century, homosexuals were socially ostracized. Society considered men to be masculine. Tenderness was the worst insult for men. Late at night, when the roommates are all asleep, Bertie crawls into Han's bed. He pulls out a peanut. He stole from the office and shares it with Han. Han fears his roommates will hear him. At the same time, he appreciates Bertie's favoritism. A few days later, the two go on a trip to Taipei. 